Good evening. I'm Father Charlie Mayer, acting priest in charge of the Sister Episcopal Parishes in Ossining. Welcome to our service of Compline for this Tuesday evening in Lent. Our service is found on page 127 in your Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And we continue now with a portion of Psalm 95, which is the psalm appointed for this evening. Uh, this is on page 724 in your Book of Common Prayer. And we will read verses 1 through 7. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. And we continue on page 131 with Psalm 134. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now we turn to our Gospel reading for this evening. This is the sixth chapter of the Gospel of John. Verses 16 through 27. When evening came, his disciples went down to the sea, got into a boat, and started across the sea to Capernaum. It was now dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. The sea became rough because a strong wind was blowing. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the sea and coming near the boat, and they were terrified. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat reached the land toward which they were going. The next day the crowd that had stayed on the other side of the sea saw that there had been only one boat there. They also saw that Jesus had not got into the boat with his disciples, but that his disciples had gone away alone. 
Then some boats from Tiberias came near the place where they had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. So when the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into the boats and went to Capernaum looking for Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, you are looking for me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In reading tonight's Gospel, I'm especially reminded of what a gift and a blessing it is for our parish to be engaged in nightly services of Compline and, and, and to be connected to the daily office lectionary, which really takes us through the Bible in such a complete way. And almost every evening I find there's, there's something in the text that surprises me, something that I had forgotten was there. And I had forgotten that in John, we have this story that the crowd that, as we know, has now been following Jesus everywhere. You know, last night we, we read um, the feeding of the 5,000 and the way the crowd, after the feeding, wanted to take Jesus by force and, and make him king. And this crowd is just everywhere now. So now the crowd we read tonight notices that um, there had been only one boat when the disciples left and that Jesus had not gotten into it. And now neither Jesus nor the disciples are there. So how did Jesus get from one side of the sea to the other is the question that comes up for them. Of course, John has told us that Jesus walked across the sea, but the crowd is watching him so closely now. And so they put this together. Jesus somehow got to the other side of the sea. Imagine being under this kind of scrutiny. We do see it today with, with celebrities, with paparazzi. This is very, very much like that phenomenon where, where Jesus is just being followed so closely. Imagine it. Imagine how stressful it is. And yet, Jesus always keeps his composure and knows what to say. And he says, you know, don't be so amazed by the signs. Focus on me. Focus on the one on whom the Father has set his seal. He's saying to them, you know, I'm much more than a miracle worker. I am the one who conveys who God is to you. What an extraordinary thing. I think that some of the people knew that, sensed it, felt it. And others, I think, were caught up in the miracles. And this is the thing that Jesus really warns them about in this passage. In modern terms, you know, you can snap as many photos of me doing miraculous things as you want. 
but it's who you come to know through me that really matters. See me as the one through whom you come to know who God is. That is Jesus' message. Amen. And we continue now in the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep, and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue now in silent prayer. Now we pray aloud, praying for Terry, Donna, Phyllis, Jonathan, Deanna, Patrice, John, Mark, Ginger, Father Charles, Daryl, Bev, Tina, Nils, Bill, George, Leslie, Terry, Todd, Beverly, Stephanie, Dan, Stephen, Kenny, Barbara, the King family, and Dorothy. For our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Tenku, Pablo, Marco, Bill, and Anthony. And for those who have died, especially Charles King Jr., Betty Ellis, and Jean DuPont. Hear the prayers of your people, O Lord. We offer them with thanksgiving that through your Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you show us who you are. And we pray in his name. Amen. Now on the bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace, as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen.